Hey guys, welcome. You're back with Rock and Roll. And uh, in today's one, I um, actually have discussed this quite a bit. It's the whole rush defense, umbrella defense, blitz defense, whatever you want to call it from the Springboks. And um, I don't know if they maybe watched my video, maybe not. But in any case, we've got the final whistle guys, the South African pundits, actually discussing exactly the same point today. I think I had a video out about it about four days ago. Uh, let's react to this one. So you've picked up a clip here, concerned about, about rush defense, the way things are sitting. Yeah, man, I still, I still got in my mind, rush defense is fantastic. It won us World Cups and, uh, and it's 100% there. But for me, there is still a place, if they got momentum and you're not in a position to rush, you can't make the proper reads. You have to go back to a conservative shadow or drift defense. And this is a typical example I want to go through and analyze a bit properly there. Let's have a look at it first. Robbie Mackey, you'll see that it's a double overlap and now we're chasing the shadows. It's, it's touchline pressure we want to apply there and force them out, but we're all too late. And there's a reason for that. And I agree. I to, uh, talk to if we have a look again. Some yeah. don't, and others do. Firstly, did they get momentum? The Aussies there, they did. Are we, do, were we all set in our, th in our threes? They defend in threes there with their rush defense. Now, if I pause it right there now, Marnie is going hard and Estra is in the city. He's two yards behind. That's why yeah. I wanted him. If yeah, I agree with him. If you want to do the rush defense, they have to come in an even line to not create the overlaps. Now, once that pass is made, what the box one, they don't mind so much if they, you, if they beat you wide, but they want to hit you there. But what happens if, if they yeah but that's them. high risk like if they don't hit then you there, then it's an overlap now to hit the last man so it's a you rush you push hard you press hard there now press the hard and then there, then you don't make it now let's look at why they like firstly estrazen you can't be in two minds there you got to be up with the threes to press hard and the wing will catch up and Vinny larue will close down or you got to trust your inside but guys if there's not inside guys to cover when they've got momentum you yeah. got to be macgyver or something where's fuff coming or across or something very special to get there it's virtually impossible so you cannot my bottom line long story the bottom line is you can't be in two minds if you can't yeah. rush if you can't fetch i strongly believe don't rather than Hold shadow, drift, drift, drift. Man, two good offenders can stop five guys. It's on again like the Springboks don't just have to do one thing. They don't just have to either do rush defense. They should have a variation in defense styles depending on what the situation demands. Just hold your feet, slow feet, quick hands, and you'll play around him. And that's exactly for me a big concern with us at the moment. Uh, to a lot of things I, I in totally myself, agree with him totally you got to decide and we could see the all blacks totally figured it out last week if it's not there you got to go a week before actually shadow or drift defense system that's that's for me and that's yeah that's shadow that's drift defense a drift defense try and push them out the side interesting you see i think for, for me it's not a not as much as a as a, as a headache I, I wouldn't i wouldn't put, i think the the disconnect for me was one marco and secondly was under estrazen disconnect there however the box and the system still feels that they must still you know if they attack and there's numbers on the outside there's so many things that can still go wrong into them actually getting the ball wide hence we will never see the spring box actually going into a shadow and allowing the team just to get in behind them on the with with a very simple just catching and passing and getting the ball out wide their belief is that whether they are getting the ball and just shifting through their hands and we easy they will in any way get out on the outside from there on they will actually get up off the line you know allowing them to to fight I think that the disconnect for me was just one. Uh, Esther is an, and Marco on the inside. The box will not if they if if they if they find themselves in trouble, they will never never easy. They will still put the skill set under pressure. So when the Australians or, or the the attacker actually tries and pass, there's so many things that can still go wrong. So they rather will it yeah. put the skill set under pressure and then the last. But then to get putting all your chips on one thing is just a little bit silly because everyone's studying video everyone's kind of all coaches are sitting you know technical guys analyzing 
the footage and they're like hold on this is so easy to read the Springboks will do the same thing they'll try and do the push rush defense and they figure it out give, give kicks over the top go for the wide passes out wide they have figured this out so I totally agree there with Swayze I agree with the fact that the only way that the Springboks can I think be successful this World Cup is to have a variety in their game plans. Sometimes they must be able to kick, sometimes they must be able to run when it comes to attack. Uh, sometimes they have to play the up and unders, they're good at it, sometimes they need to run. Sometimes it needs to be tactical kickings for the corners. When it comes to defense, sometimes they can use the rush defense. They can test it out and if it's successful and it's working well and they've got a good lead on the board, yes. Do the rush defense. But if you're trailing a game like against the All Blacks and you see your rush defense are being disposed, they're doing the kicks over the top, they're exposing you, switch to a, a kind of like drift defense, to more of a push defense um, where you try and push them out the sides instead of then trying to, or shadow defense, basically moving on as the ball has moved through the hands. Yes, that gives the opposition uh, the, the power to play from deeper. But at the same time, if one thing wasn't working, you've got to try something else. You know, no, you know, on the outer, because they still have the cover defense uh, coming. And I hear with what you're saying in terms of maybe do, doing it easy. But I don't, I don't think the Springboks will, will now change that. I agree they won't. Uh, because we know the way Nino Alba thinks and how he believes in his defense. But it doesn't mean it's the right, no, no, the right I mean, approach. I mean, sorry, Robbie. No, I think on the outside as well. So, I mean, defending in threes is simple. Once the marker is gone, the next guy is the catch-up defender. And so it goes along. So you see Lukanya um, coming up. Caden had to close that space as well. Yes, Esther Rosen is the first point of disc today. But yeah, but it's cross defense, man. It's like guys outside. scrambling to try and... So the only thing that side will do, like Scotland will try to do, like Argentina will try to do, They'll try to go deeper. Play it deeper. Yeah. Or like New Zealand, they'll act as though they're going deeper and they'll put the high ball on. So yep. The wings always in a bit of a predicament. Is he closing or is he hanging Putting your the wings and your fullback back under huge pressure. Like Vili that has not closed on the outside. The wings on strings, you know, does um, currently whoever's on the left wing, do they come and close the space at the back? So mm. there's a lot of nuances between all the different role players. Mm. But if you get it slightly wrong, like Kanan's slightly late, then the space is open on the outside. I but agree. The question, where, yeah. in, your, in your statement, where does a super fuff normally come in? Because it sounds like... It can be a super fuff, but super fuff can't really be Superman time. all the time, you know? Now look, I know what Jock wants there exactly. Jock wants the guy, the moody or the fuff, to make, he calls it the read. I'll catch you ball and all. That's plan A and that's the ultimate and he wants that. Yes, so with, plan A. Passing, there's a lot of air time in the hitting ball and all. But... If they do beat you on the outside, that's what I tried to explain earlier, where the inside must be free and loose to, 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 to push them out the touchline and catch them. So in a way, even if you get the overlap, Jock doesn't really mind yeah. because he said his cover will catch it there. Yeah. So, but well, if he doesn't mind, that's why, I said why are we, you know, Springboks conceding so many tries on the fence? If you, the system cannot carry you there. If you you got to go, in my opinion, if you see in trouble, there's a one word, shadow or drift, and you just all settle, you buy a bit of time, you use your feet, and you use your line system to, yeah. to protect you. you just to work to down the line. This is the add-on to the rush defense that you put on for Correct. This oh, yeah, guys, that is it, absolutely add on. for me. It's a... It's in a defense system. You've got various things that you do. Exactly. Are we dealing with it, you know... Under 15 coach here that can only give one type of way that they can play. If we one man short and you can go jock system, but if you start getting two men short, you got to think, okay, we can't rush. So there, Lubbock, don't take us up. No one go, uh, connect, link, check, 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 hands, spacing, hold, hold, shift, 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 and then it becomes a different... The touchline becomes the yeah. So, so to answer your question... Yeah, and the touchline becomes a defender because you're shifting out. so hard if it doesn't come off team score against us. Oh, 100%. I, would like us to I agree that. to have that extra ammunition, understanding... I agree with that. ...on the defense when you're in trouble. I'm sure they all know it. And I had m numerous uh, discussions with Jock about this, but he believes so much in his system, he won the World Cup with it. Absolutely. Yeah, but I mean... Absolutely is not good enough. Jock also needs to realize that, you know, 
just going and sticking to what you know best is not necessarily the best for you know you've got a whole country basically on your shoulders yeah um really honestly what worries me with springbok coaching at the moment is they only have one plan for attack one plan for defense and they just stick to the same plan there's not enough variation and it is the right questions to ask it is fair from swayster the brain to ask is it really still the best idea to be doing the the, the press defense the high risk reward type uh, you know play and then the problem is then if they get the ball out wide having to depend defend um, having to depend on your fullback and your cross defense of your wings and your scrum off having to do cross defense you're putting everyone under huge pressure and I would just say this if Jog Ninaba so strongly believes in his defense system I just want him to go look at statistics and really ask himself how many tackles are being missed by the All Blacks versus the Springboks right now? And probably Ireland you can put in there as well. Maybe even France. The Springboks are missing loads of tackles. Now you can say that is actually the player's fault, but I don't think so. Because if you're putting a player on the front foot and you, you, you're making the player run at full speed, it's so easy for the player to miss a tackle when they're coming at that type of pace to tackle. Um, you know it's so easy to fool that kind of you know attack by just a step or a quick pass out then it's another missed tackle so it makes the players look bad where if you've got more of a shadow type press defense there's so much more time for players to make tackles and that means less tackles missed and you like like Robbie said there then you can start using your side line as an extra defender by pushing the players out makes a lot more sense to me and you know where the Springboks are now is a pretty good place when it comes to attack if they start putting in some variations between the up and under ball and the running ball and they've got variations in their defense to sometimes do the press defense or the shadow defense and sometimes do the blitz defense they could be a totally different team if, the, if someone can have the the skill if it's a Vili LaRue or a at the moment a Marnie Lubbock someone on the field's got to make the calls and say hold on no now we're playing it this way or that way through certain single si uh, signals you know if the f the forward packs have got to be remembering how many uh, you know line out signals I am sure the back line can maybe remember two or three or four signals I mean it can't be that difficult anyway guys if you enjoyed my video please hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one like always. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.